Today we are standing in the middle of 85 kilometer distance between Najaf and Karbala. It's a, a spectacle which only seeing is believing. You can only see it to believe it. The miling crowds running into several millions of people, covering a distance of up to 600 kilometers from various parts of Iraq. And this miling crowds, unending stream of crowds, some of them are on foot for the last one month. They're all converging to the city of Karbala, where 1400 years ago, Imam Hussain, the grandson of Holy Prophet Muhammad, he stood against the tyranny and terror of the emperor of the time, Yazid, who was the emperor of the time, and he was holding two thirds of the globe at that point of time. Such a mighty power. He just wanted Hussein, yes, to all his tyranny, all his wrongdoings, all his terrorism of every kind. Hussein, who was the grandson of Holy Prophet, he stood his ground to uphold the dignity of humankind and to protect the right to say no to tyranny, the right to say no to terrorism. He stood for the right, the, the dignity of the humankind and the right of free expression. The relevance of Hussein's objective is even more relevant today. In the face of the terrorism which the present world is seeing, the Hussein message of standing against terrorism of all kind and the tyranny. This smiling crowd is actually converging to the city of Karbala to commemorate the 40th day of martyrdom of Imam Hussain 1400 years ago. He sacrificed not only his own life, but he sacrificed the lives of almost all the men folks of his family, 18 of them, apart from them. Hundred of his companions were slaughtered and all of them laid down their life to uphold the commitment of the true spirit of Islam, which always stood against tyranny and terrorism. Millions and millions of people, that includes toddlers in the pram, infants in the lap of their mothers, inform, old, even those who cannot even walk on its own, but they are on the crouches. They are all converging, going towards the holy city of Karbala to owe the allegiance to the objectives of the Imam Hussain for which he has laid down his life. They are not all, they are not all Muslims. You will find people from all faith and from the people of more than 65 countries. They are marching in unison, shoulder with shoulder, hand in hand. The reason, the reason is to uphold the true spirit of Islam, which always stood for humanity. And for that purpose only, Hussein and his companions laid down his life. This is the basic reason that, despite all odds, Despite all handicaps, the people are marching on and on, days in and day out, night in and night out. We are also 
representing the people of India in this huge multi multitude of human chain and sea of humanity. Several thousand of people from India has come to participate in the long march. As India always stood for the humanity and that is why the people of India find themselves more closer to the objective of Imam Hussain.